everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I will be answering your guys' assumptions because I put a little questions box up on my story and I asked you guys to give me some of your assumptions about me and I did get like a good few. A lot more people have actually been interacting with me on my Instagram stories and that which is really good. I think it's because I've been a bit more active on there now so it's a bit more like the fun to talk to people on there and everything like that. But before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes. Also leave a comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video. If for some reason my left ear kind of feels a bit blocked, I don't know why but I did have a bath this morning and I think I might have got a bit of water in it but it feels really trapped so I'm trying to kind of like unblock my ear but it's quite hard. <laughs> anyway, so I think I do have like around 12 assumptions because yeah, like the more people I've been interacting on my YouTube, I mean my Instagram and it's only been up for half an hour so I was like I don't have loads. I think it's a good amount to have 12 in half an hour but the first assumption is from Susanna and she has said you have always dreamt of becoming a makeup artist. Actually I think I only I only ever started to get into makeup when I was around 10 years old but I never thought it would really come of anything. I just thought oh I'm into makeup. I'd like to put it on every now and then but I think ever since year 11 so three years ago when I was deciding what to do, like either going to college or sixth form. I really wanted to do the makeup course, and I think ever since the makeup course I did in level two makeup artistry in college, I think it's actually made me really want to do makeup. And I love beauty therapy as well, but with makeup, because you can completely change someone's face and do all sorts of colourful, cool eye looks and stuff, I really do love makeup, and it would be something. I would love to do like doing people's makeup for weddings and and events and stuff like that. So I've only ever really started wanting to become a makeup artist this is my first year of college, two years ago really, or maybe even a year and a half, but properly two years ago. You have a close relationship with Scott's parents. I would say I do. I probably only see his parents like two times a week because Scott lives forty five minutes away from me, his parents are working sometimes when I go to his house but I think we do have a good close relationship although I don't see them all the time I think it's really nice to see them and, and have a catch up and stuff yeah and his parents are really lovely so Tom and Louise if you're watching this hello <laughs> you make out that you are rich when you're actually poor I seem to get this assumption quite a bit especially on my former videos and people say that oh you're only filming these full overhauls because you can't afford the real design items and stuff and that like, you're poor and everything and yeah, that's not the case obviously I know I'm not a rich in the slightest but I do have a good amount of money saved up for my age and I know that I will have more saved up compared to a lot of people who are a similar age to me but I think I get this assumption from my both videos and people say that because all the design items are fake I only do that because I wish I could have the real ones and stuff, which I think is just a silly thing to say. But, and not to sound like a big headed or whatever, but I could afford to buy the real design items if I really wanted to. But because they're really expensive, I just think, what's the point? Like, I might as well go on Vova and buy myself the cheaper alternative, which looks exactly the same. But yeah, I am not rich in the slightest and I would never make out that I was rich because I'm definitely not but I do have a good amount of savings in my bank account I can rely on and use it to buy myself the nice the things if I wanted to. The next assumption is you stutter a lot off camera. To be honest I probably do stutter a bit more off camera but to be honest I don't really stutter as much as a whole anymore. Um, I think a year ago it was kind of bad but now it's not really there anymore. Sometimes I do stutter but not as much but I asked Scott like if he thinks I stutter as much the other day and he said you hardly stutter anymore. I said I know I don't. Like, 
he just seems to have gone really and I do stutter when I'm nervous or if I talk really quickly but yeah and yeah I feel as if I progressed as a person and I'm I'm starting to just become like what's the word like I'm starting to be able to talk properly again but I will have the stages where I will it will be worse in other times but, but to be honest I'm more just miss up my words now than more than anything so yeah I'm quite happy to be honest because it isn't really there anymore which I'm <laughs> chuffed about the next assumption is that you want to do YouTube full time now that would be my dream job but it's very hard to gain on YouTube and TikTok is taking over YouTube and Instagram I think but it would be nice to maybe be able to do YouTube more as a job more than a hobby even if it meant that I still had to have kind of two jobs where I'm working at the moment and then YouTube. YouTube is more of a hobby at the moment but if I had the opportunity to do it full time of course I would because it'd just be a dream job honestly amazing. You are obsessed with your appearance. I would say I'm not obsessed but I like to look good and like I like to look in the mirror sometimes and just see how my face is looking and stuff but I'm definitely not obsessed to the point where I'm always checking myself all the time because that would be a bit obsessive but when I put myself out on YouTube I want to try and look as good as I can obviously I don't always look the best all the time because who does like you know but I do like to try and look my best as as much as I can they don't always have the effort to be putting makeup on and doing your hair and stuff so yeah but I'm definitely not obsessed you only film for overhauls for the views that is definitely not the case because when I filmed my first ever overhauls I wasn't expecting them to get as many views as I did get like one of them has exceeded 50,000 views which I still think is unbelievable like how the hell did that happen to me but no um, I like to film for overhauls because I like the shopping on Vova, you know, finding some cheap design items is one of my favourite hobbies. <laughs> I like to film the hauls because I know that the people they want to see what is new on the app and I can kind of share my finds with you guys and stuff. But yeah, and also sometimes if I've used it down and I'm thinking of video ideas and I'm really stuck, I may want to film the Vova haul for views, but I definitely don't just look at Vova and think, oh, I'll do that for views because that's not the case. Like, it's just a number on the screen at the end of the day um, and I only put the videos out that I in enjoy filming and that I want to film as well. You want to have kids within the next five years. That is actually true because in five years I will be 24 and if you don't know I do have the IUD coil is it called? It's like the copper one and I think I think it only lasts for five years and that's kind of perfect timing because then if I'm still with Scott you might think about having children in five years because he'll be 25, I'll be 24. I think 24 is a good age so yeah and I definitely want a girl but Scott they want a boy but I suppose you can't pick and choose but it would be so nice to have a YouTube channel and like I'll be able to vlog my pregnancy and stuff. Imagine that but it won't be happening anytime soon because I do not want to have a baby within the next four years at least because you know I want to live my life and I want to you know be able to do the things before I have children. You and Scott spend every day together? No, um, you probably only see each other like a maximum of three times a week because we have lives, we have jobs, we've got bills to pay. <laughs> I'm making out as if we live in our own and stuff but we don't. Um, you know, he doesn't live around the corner from me, like some other couples do. He does live 45 minutes away. It does sound like a while away, but it's actually not in the car. If we did see each other every day, it would be, a, it would cost a lot in petrol because it's like 60 miles there and back, which is a lot of petrol. Um, and you probably get sick of each other as well. So no, when we're moving together, of course we'll be seeing each other every day but I think it's nice how we can see each other like a couple of times a week or three times a week and be excited to see each other kind of thing because a lot of couples are never really excited to see 
the partners and that's it sounds really sad like I couldn't do that YouTube is your main income they're definitely not at all <laughs> if you if it, it wasn't my main income I wouldn't I wouldn't be working at my other job <laughs> Um, I do earn the money from YouTube but not a lot compared to my job you know it's only like a little bit but it is still it'll be able to pay for stuff in my eyes the YouTube is still a hobby for now maybe if I start to get more views and more subscribers on YouTube it will become more of my main income but for now it's just more like a part-time income but it's still a decent pay I suppose for like the amount of views I'm getting and stuff um, so yeah but I wish it, it was my main job but I've got to work for it haven't I and I still want to put out as many videos as I can your friends and family don't like you doing YouTube and that's not the case at all a lot of my friends and family they like watching my YouTube videos or, or support me or uh, leave a thumbs up but I've never met anyone who doesn't they like me doing YouTube because at the end of the day everybody has their own hobbies and you don't always have to be interested in what people do in spare time kind of thing YouTube is something that I like to do in my spare time I do put a lot of time and effort into this channel and stuff and it just kind of upset me how I am still quite small on YouTube because some people have been able to gain it quickly but it, in my case it's not been the case at all like it's been a very slow growth but I still I love YouTube and I'm very happy with where I am still but it would be nice to maybe have a few more subscribers and views and stuff but we can't have everything in life can we final assumption is you don't drink I do drink but I only drink occasionally like I'll probably have a maximum of two drinks a week and that's probably like mainly on I don't even know the weekends I don't really drink that much because like I work a lot and I don't I want to be drinking and then I'm getting up at 4 o'clock for work and stuff but yeah I do like to have a drink here and there but I'm definitely not a big drinker at all because I just can't handle my drink most of the time to be honest but yeah anyway guys here is the end of this assumptions video I really hope you have enjoyed it and you maybe learned a little bit more about me now if you have please make sure to leave a thumbs up also leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video bye everybody